What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today, we're going to go over Parsec PRQ, which is down 5.3% at 11 cents. I do have a decent sized bag of this that I am holding for the remainder of this bull run. It's just a cycle hold for me. It's not a long term hold. So I'm going to try to sell it to the top of the bull run as close as possible. So, yes, I am bullish on this coin for the bull run. I like it because of what it does. I did research on it. It has like information backgrounds that you could definitely use for like AIs and stuff like that. And they actually bought their own AI company and they're using their knowledge and infrastructure to build up that ai so definitely look into that it's very very interesting it has a market cap of only 21 million so super small market cap and super small circulating supply so only 21 million coins with 100 or only 21 million dollar market cap with 185 million dollar 185 million in circulation and 310 million max so that's a good setup for me to see a possible large gain i think this thing could easily go to five ten dollars next bull run i mean last bull run it went to 262 you can see um, on April 12, 2021, all time low is October 7, 2020, two years ago. Uh, we're up 6,106 from that point on. But yeah, I think this thing will perform exceptionally well in the bull run. It really hasn't done much in the bear market. I mean, we're still down 95% from our all time high. Uh, where you can currently pick this up at is it's available on Coinbase, KuCoin, and the following exchanges right here. So there's not quite a few. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on Parsec. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Let's get in the parsec. We're looking at the day chart here on KuCoin because that's what I bought it on. So I like looking at the charts where I'm holding my coins. So top to the bottom right here, we broke out of that downtrend since we were in from November 2021. So we got the nice bottom here at around that eight cents area. So that's fantastic. If you got in at eight cents, congratulations. As of right now, in the short term, it does look like we broke out of another tight downtrend right here so this is bullish guys this is bullish it's looking like it wants to make its next leg up so we had our wave down we bottom we put in our high we just got to bounce there so we could technically be on our way to our next higher high in this trend reversal that we had here so that is bullish only thing that's kind of concerning to me let's look at the day chart here is we ran we absolutely ran on this macd we're starting to show some signs of slowing down here with a lighter green candle i'm not too concerned about that our size sitting a little high yes we can run to the overbought territory but parsec does not like being overbought on the rsi if you look on the rsi it normally tops out at around 67. So 67 is where Parsec normally tops out on the RSI. We are currently above that right now at 71. So take that for what it is. You can see the WTX as well. Since we don't like being overbought, we don't enter the overbought territory a lot and get those sell signals. So this is the third highest that Parsec has been. We had our first highs back here, second highs back here. This is our third highest we've been on Parsec. So let's keep a close eye. We could still enter into that red territory and get a sell signal, which would signify a movement higher for Parsec here on the day chart. So day chart here, top to bottom on the fibs. What we're looking at here is we actually broke above that 382. So that's extremely bullish in my personal opinion we broke above the main price volume oh man i spoke too soon we actually just crashed back below it it does look like parsic wants to head back down to probably i would say 11 cents 11 to 10 5 and that's perfectly fine for me i mean let the indicators cool down we broke out of this downtrend here let's cool down so we can start getting our next leg up you can see that the volume is just huge around that 11 cents area so breaking above that from downwards is it's crazy crazy hard to do that as you can see through here it's hard to get above it we consolidated consolidated then we broke and it was hard to fall below it we consolidated consolidated and then broke so being above it is very bullish so let's look at the four hour time frame and see what's happening on the four hour time frame on parsec so four hour time frame we already started our bearish movement on the macd our rsi is already dipping down wtx got three sell signals and we're dipping down so that would kind of solidify that pullback so let's actually draw a micro fib here and see where that pullback might be um leading us to so what we're seeing here is that 618 support on the micro trend i don't think the 618 holds personally i think what we're gonna be seeing is probably 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 I dropped down to around, like I said, 11 cents or the 382 at 10 3. And then we'll start seeing our reversal up and then working on our next leg higher. So, short term, I'm going to be bearish on Parsec, which means if 
you want to stack bags, you might be able to pick some up a little bit cheaper here sooner. We're either going to be going down to the 0.5 in rallying or go down to the 382 in rallying. And I would like it personally to head down to the 382. A lot of those indicators to cool down allow us to regalvanize the troops for our next leg up. I mean, I already have my bag here. I'm not adding to it anymore. So it does what it does. I really don't care, but it would be more beneficial for the charts to pull back down to the 382 at 103. So we have more moon juice to blast out of here. So short term bearish, longer term bullish let's see how far we retrace before we start our next leg up and like i said we broke out of a very very nice downtrend here so long term we're bullish short term we're going to be seeing a pullback here so with that none of this is financial advice and if there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you just like to chat with me you can post them on my discord or on my twitter page the links are below in the description